Rube Goldberg, not to be confused with Whoopi Goldberg, an American cartoonist, sculptor, author, engineer and inventor, mostly known for his cartoons of comically over-engineered machines designed to do simple tasks. Why am I telling you this? Well, in 1993, Jeff Tunnell and Kevin Ryan turned the concept into a game called The Incredible Machine. It was well received by the gaming community, spawning many more games, creating a whole series. Contraption Maker is the spiritual successor to that series. It's a Rube Goldberg machine physics-based puzzle game, where using the parts available you need to solve the task you were given. Need to light a fire? Tie a balloon to a laser gun trigger. Getting rid of a ball? Use a hamster-powered engine to move a conveyor belt. You get the idea. Also, animal cruelty! If you have played any of the Incredible Machine games, you'll feel right at home. With detailed graphics and animations, it looks great in Full HD. Although, a funny thing, if you go to the Options menu, you can change the frame rate of the game from 30 FPS to 24 and 15. What, what, what is this? A console game? Why? Why is this even an option? Ugh, never mind. The game should run flawlessly even on the toaster. All of the familiar parts make a comeback and it plays almost the same. Why almost? For one part, the physics in the game are much less constricted. Items can now rotate freely, fall to the sides, knocking things over, allowing for even more creativity when designing puzzles. Same goes for level design, it's much more freeform, allowing you to make walls at any angle you might think of, especially since the level size has been improved vastly. There aren't many new parts, maybe 3 or 4 new? Hopefully more will come with future updates, after all, this game just came out of early access. So what other improvements the game has? For starters, there are more visual indicators if the parts connect to and affect each other, like the flashlight and the magnifying glass, electricity based parts showing how far off they can be placed, represented by a cord, and so on and so forth. Most parts can now be placed freely but will snap together if they're close, so you don't have to inch your parts pixel by pixel. You can also speed up the simulation if you need to skip past the parts you've already figured out. The game has 140 official levels of rising difficulty for you to beat, which will take you a while. Being a veteran of older Tims, I breezed through the tutorials easy and medium levels without a sweat. And if that does not satisfy your hunger for puzzles, the game has full Steam Workshop support, allowing everyone to make puzzles and contraptions for people to play with, since this game features a full editor and you can even make contraptions in multiplayer with your friends. If you have any, that is. It's a game that brings back fond memories of stuff you've played as a child without reinventing the formula and it works perfectly fine. It tickles my nostalgia the right way. And heck, why fix something that ain't broken?